Hello, my name is Manish Chowdhury. I'm the founder and CEO of Go eCard, omni-channel commerce suite provider. I'm joined here with Kyle Allred of Count, one of our technology partners. Welcome, Kyle. Thanks, I appreciate it. Well, uh, IRC is uh, about to come to a close. Uh, two and a half days of very exciting, very energetic uh, conference. Uh, what has your experience been, just in a nutshell? Uh, what are you seeing on the floor, on the conference <coughs> rooms, you know? Yeah, this is my second year at IRC, and uh, it's bigger and better than ever, of course. Um, we're seeing a lot of traffic. There's a ton of people here, great partners here, uh, like Go eCart that we're getting to be able to meet up and talk talk with. Um, we're seeing a lot of uh, a lot of new companies popping up too, you know. So uh, it's good to see that there's a, a lot of competitors in the fraud space. Uh, that means that um, there's a lot of a lot of business there. Awesome. Um, so it's good to see. Well, uh, Count, you know, you've. Uh, very quickly become one of the leaders in fraud mitigation and prevention technology and GoEcart, uh, at GoEcart we always love to partner with a uh, few strategic partners that bring a tremendous amount of value to our to our customers um, and uh, you play a big role and fraud is becoming an increasingly uh, big concern for small and large merchants alike. Uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, what are some of the things that are happening, why online fraud is now a bigger deal than it ever right. was before? Right, well, you know, one of the things too that we're really seeing um, with uh, merchants is they're being a lot more proactive now instead of retroactive with fraud. And for a couple of reasons, one being that <clears throat> fraud is becoming a lot more high profile, as you said. Um, and so merchants now understand that they need to have a fraud solution in place um, before they go out and open up into new markets and whatnot because they know that they need to stop it on the front end. And so working with uh, you know you guys, Go eCart, one of the beautiful things is that um, your merchants can turn on count. It's already pre-integrated. Everything's ready to go. So it's it's literally uh, you know I don't want to say flip of a switch, but it is a flip of a switch. So that's that's one of the great things about Go. Eker. Well, thank you, uh, Kyle. I think uh, Count has been a great partner. Uh, you guys have uh, provided us with uh, powerful APIs and technology that allows us to weave the Count fraud layer on top of the transaction, so it's very seamless. Uh, but what I want to talk about is making money. You know, fraud is about people think about fraud and fraud prevention as risk mitigation yeah. and loss reduction. Can you talk about, it's counterintuitive, can you make more money by managing fraud better? Definitely. Um, you know, our, uh, our positioning in the market is boost sales, beat fraud. And uh, there's a lot of ways to mitigate fraud, but the reality is that um, you need to be able to increase your sales while uh, systematically reducing fraud. And so one of the ways you do that is having the right technologies in place so that you can go out there, open up into these new markets. Um, there's a lot of new and emerging markets and there's a lot of high risky markets. And so going into a market where maybe is rampant with fraud and maybe out of those 100 orders, 50 of them are fraud, but those 50 good orders, you want to make sure that you can capture that revenue, and uh, and that's one of the great things about using uh, you know count and having so, a fraud. So let me let me get this right. Uh, to dumb it down, <coughs> you're saying that hey, if you were originally afraid, for just for purposes of our discussion, concerned about say selling to folks in Africa, you know, say Nigeria or some other. Um, geography, which is uh, generally perceived to be high risk, right. you can now s sell with more confidence and not completely block that geography entirely because of the few bad people, you know, the entire geography doesn't get a bad name. Exactly, yep, and we have many merchants that have uh, done just that, and not only uh, expanding into, um, into new markets, but as well as opening up new channels, such as selling gift cards. You know, we've had merchants come to us where they've had to completely turn off their gift card program because you know gift cards are easy to buy and resell and so fraudsters love to buy gift cards and uh, and so utilizing you know our technology utilizing count we can now you know open that channel back up and allow them to grow their business in that in just one area there well that's a that's a great point um, and uh, um, just like uh, you know all forms of uh, fraud you know there's uh, there aren't two just two shades of fraud right, right. black or white you know there's always uh, you know, shades of gray. And uh, on the e-commerce technology front, if you only had a shopping cart commerce-only technology that <coughs> eliminates people 
on black or white criteria, either white meaning pass, let the order go through, or uh, prevent the order from being captured. However, there are many times you need to allow for some human judgment Correct. and uh, uh, manual review. And by having everything into one integrated suite, uh, merchants can do this more effectively. Can you talk a little bit about, uh, is there a need for manual review occasionally? Is there shades of gray? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, so count, we really have artificial intelligence plus human insight, right? And we've combined those to make the, the best of both because machines are really good at, you know, looking at these, you know, large patterns that people can't recognize and understand. And, and humans, we're really good at looking at, you know, kind of these smaller details where, you know, an order comes through, the computer might say, you know, this looks bad bad, but it triggered certain rules so that now me as a person, I'm looking at this and I can go in there and review it and be like, you know, this is actually a good order. I know this individual or this is a looking like a fishy order because this guy is, you know, traveling in, you know, some country and I can, uh, you know, call him up or whatever. So there's always going to be a need to manage your review. And so having everything uh, all in one package solution uh, where you can quickly uh, make a decision, you know, our orders, or I'm sorry, our merchants average uh, 30 seconds to one to two minutes to do a manual review um, and we, we have many merchants that come to us and they're taking 10 to 15 minutes to do a manual review but by having everything packaged right there and being able to look at it in a glance you can quickly make a decision an right. intelligent decision but right. if you have a uh, you know standalone e-commerce platform and order management system and a shipping software and inventory software now you know you have to go and cancel the order in the back end then go correspondingly manually go back to the e-commerce website, make that change, reduce your inventory, but having a complete integrated suite, right. you take one action, and that is reflected across the board, everywhere, whether if you cancel the order, inventory gets uh, relinquished, mm -hmm. that gets allocated to some other orders that are uh, coming in the next. So I think that there's some great, great, uh, um, you know, uh, advantages of putting your technology on top of ours. Right. You know? No, I agree 100%. And yeah. I mean, that's one of the, I think, great differentiators with Go eCard is because it is that all-in-one suite uh, where, you, like you said, you can have count on the front end and you can make a decision and it reflects across everything. Right. So. And then uh, through our multi-site, uh, multi-brand, multi-site capabilities, if you're running multiple channels, uh, can you actually uh, configure different rules to apply to one channel versus a different channel because maybe they're two separate domain names and uh, you know, you're know you targeting different markets, different kinds of customers. Yep, definitely. Yeah, that's one of the beautiful things too is that we can actually go in and create rule sets uh, specific for certain domains, certain URLs. And when you get count, um, one of the great things is you actually, uh, you can put a hundred different websites all under your account and we can differentiate them all and create different rule sets for each one. So just like our central back office management that we have, you provide a central console for merchants to manage multiple domains and manage all their fraud rules under one uh, one umbrella. Correct, yep, that is correct. That's great, and I know that we are going to be talking more in an upcoming webinar that we plan on uh, sponsoring along with uh, with Count. So yep. uh, looking forward to that. We invite our visitors to join in that webinar if they want to learn more Definitely. about the technology. No, I appreciate it. Okay, I'm looking forward Thank to it. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks Manish. Yeah. All right.